Hello, welcome back. The title of this lesson is called Similar Figures and Scale Drawings. This is part one. So here we're going to be taking a look mostly at triangles, but in future lessons we'll talk about rectangles and other shapes. And we're mostly interested to understand and determine if two uh, figures are what we call scale images or scale drawings of one another. Another word for that is called similar figures. So what do we mean by a scale drawing? What we mean is that you may have uh, two triangles, let's say. One is smaller and one is larger, but they otherwise look exactly the same. They have the same shape. The lengths of the sides are different because one is small and one is large, but if you were to take one and put it inside of the other, it would have the same shape but of course one would be shrunk down. So you call these guys uh, scale drawings or scale figures. We also call it similar when two shapes are similar. Uh, let me show you uh, what that means. Now in real life, you know, in everyday language, we talk about uh, the term similar. We say this is similar to that. And it kind of has a fuzzy meaning to it. When we say some uh, two th items are similar, I say uh, the red apple is similar to the green apple. What do we mean? It means they kind of taste similar, they look both like an apple. It kind of has a fuzzy meaning, but we all know that it just means these two things have a list of characteristics that have a lot in common. That's what we mean when we say they're similar. But in math, when we say two shapes are similar, or, or two drawings are similar, or two polygons are, are similar, we have a very specific meaning. Take a look at these two triangles. Here's a triangle, uh, A, B, C, and here's another triangle, D, E, and F. Now it appears at first glance that triangle A, B, and C actually has the same shape overall as D, E, and F. If I could grab this and put it inside, now I'll tell you ahead of time, these triangles are similar. So sometimes they won't uh, be similar, but in this first example they are. So if we were to take this triangle, if we could just grab it and move it in the center and let it go, it would live somewhere inside. And if we could stretch that inner triangle uh, out, then it would, and maintain all the proportions of all the sides, it would exactly trace out this one here. So when we say two triangles are similar or, or two figures are similar, it means that the overall shape is exactly the same. If you could stretch it or compress it and keep all the relative lengths of the sides the same, then you could stretch it in such that the two shapes would overlap. Obviously this one is smaller. If we made it larger in all three dimensions and kept its overall shape, then it would exactly superimpose on this. Now how do we mathematically say if that's true? In, in words, that's what we know similar figures are. How do we show it mathematically? The actual definition of two figures being similar is basically when the ratio of all of the sides of the triangles are proportional to each other. That is a fancy sounding definition. What it really is saying is when you really think about it, when two figures are similar, what we're saying is that, let's say this one's half the size of this one. What we're saying is that this differs in sides by two or by one half, if you're thinking smaller or larger, than the larger figure. Another way of saying that is if you compare the same sides, like look at this side here and compare it to this one here and take the ratio of six to four, you're gonna get some ratio of this side as compared to this one. And then if you take this side and compare it to the corresponding side here and take the ratio of these two sides right here, and then if you take a third ratio of this side to this side, we have now three ratios. Side of one triangle compared to the same corresponding side in the other, and all three of these sides have corresponding sides. We form ratios. And if all of those ratios turn out to be the same, then it means that this triangle is just a shrunk down version of the other one. So when we say things are proportional, ratios are proportional, remember a ratio is like a fraction. And when we have two ratios, fractions, that we can put an equal sign in there, we call it proportional. So we'll cut to the chase here and talk about what we have. Let's say we wanna see if these guys are proportional to, or if these are similar figures. What we really wanna do is look at the size A, the side AB and compare it to the corresponding side DE and the other figure, right? So what we wanna do is form a ratio, AB, side AB, and put a fraction bar with the corresponding side DE. So this is AB as it relates to uh, the corresponding side DE. Now the length of AB is six, so we'll put six up there, and the length of DE is four. Right Now this forms a ratio six to four. Now let's stop there for just a second and let's move on to another pair of sides. Let's take a look at this side, BC, and compare it to EF. Again, BC is six and EF is four. So we wanna compare BC to EF. But it's the same exact sides, it's six and four. Because BC is six and EF is four. 
all right? And we want to do the exact same thing. I'll, ch I'll choose a different color for this last side. Let's call it AC as compared to DF, and AC is 9. So we have AC here, and we want to compare that to DF. And in our figure, AC was 9 and DF was 6. So we have 9 here and 6 here. So what we did is we formed three different ratios. This is a ratio. We also call it a fraction. This is a ratio. We also call it a fraction, but this is a ratio. And what we're saying is, if these triangles are similar, which means one is just a shrunk down version of the other one, that's what it means to be similar, then all three of these ratios are the same. This one does indeed look to be the same as, as this one, but this one looks different. So it, it looks like at first glance that this is not, these are not similar. However, let's take a look at what we have. We can write six over four, and we can write this six over four, and we can write this nine over six, and we can simplify all these fractions. So that's what we're going to do. We can divide this by 2 and by 2, and we can divide this by 2, we can divide this by 2. Now 6 and 9, we can divide both by 3. And what do we get? 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. And 9 divided by 3 is 3, and 6 divided by 3 is 2. Right, so we get 9 6, we get 6 fourths and 6 fourths, but when we simplify all the fractions, even though they look different, they're actually the same exact ratio. So because they're all equal, because all of the three sides of the triangle, when you take the ratios of one triangle to the corresponding one on the other, and do that for all three sides, and all of these ratios are the same, all equal. That's all you need for a triangle. You have to find the ratios of all three corresponding sides and simplify the fractions. And if they're all the same, then are they similar? Yes, they are similar. Now, if you were to get uh, only one of these ratios to be different, if this one worked out to be like three, I don't know, three fourths, only one of them is different, they, then the thing is not similar. Now, you can also look at it and you can kind of tell that they look and appear to be similar. But sometimes drawings can be deceiving, so we have to actually do the math to figure out if the guys are similar or not. And the way that you show it is you take the ratio of the sides, right? What it's basically saying is AB, side AB, as compared to DE. What it's saying is that for every two units of DE, then AB is three, three units, for two units for every three units. And EF compared to BC, it's two units for every three units. And DF to AC, the other side, is also two units for every three units. So because we're comparing the corresponding sides, in all cases the ratio is the same. It just means that for the other figure, the sides are stretched according to the same ratio, and that ratio is two units for every three units, two units for every three units. That's why they have to all be equal, all right? So as always, that's a bunch of talking for the first problem. Here is problem number two. Let's go and see if these are the same now, or if these are similar. Um, they don't really look similar, right? We can put this inside of here and imagine trying to stretch it, and it appears to be a different shape altogether. It's close, but it's not quite the same. But you can't just look at figures and, and decide by the figure. We have to figure it out. So let's look at AB and compare it to the corresponding side, DE. So AB and the ratio with DE. AB is 15 and DE is 12. So 15 as compared to 12. All right, let's move along to, let's look at BC and compare it to EF. So BC compared to EF. And BC was 12 and EF was five. So we put a 12 and a five. And then finally, we have AC and DF. AC and DF. And AC was 10 and DF was eight. So 10 over eight, right? Something like this. All right, let's simplify these fractions. So we have 15 twelfths, we have 12 fifths, and we have 10 eighths. All right, we can simplify these by dividing by 3. And 15 divided by 3 is 5, and 12 divided by 3 is 4. This one we can't really simplify anymore. We can't divide and simplify that. But this guy we can divide by 2. And what do we get? We get a 5 on top and a 4 on the bottom. So these two are the same. 5 fourths are the same. Let me just check myself. 15 twelfths, 10 eighths, and then 12 fifths. These two are the same, but the 12 fifths is totally different. Because only one of the sides is different, that's enough. These guys are not similar triangles. You have to have all three sides. When you look at the ratio of triangle number 1 to triangle number 2, 
you have to do the same ratios for all the corresponding sides and all three of the ratios have to be the same. And that would tell you that one of the triangles is stretched in all three directions exactly the same amount compared to triangle number one. And that is how it works. Now, notice how we wrote our ratios. AB compared to DE. It was this divided by this, and then this divided by this, and then this divided by this. When you write your ratios, you have to kind of in your mind pick triangle number one and triangle number two, and you have to write the ratios in the right order. One of them divided by the other one, one of them divided by the other one, one of them divided by the other one. And you have to go in the same direction when you're dividing and making your ratios uh, for, for all three problems. So let me take these down. I have two more and we'll call it a day and wrap up this lesson. All right, let's take a look at problem number three. We have triangle one, triangle two, are they similar? Now, usually we write down A, B in the ratio with D, E, and we write all the letters. But now that you kind of know what we're doing, I don't think we have to write down all of the letters all the time. What we're going to do is take this side, 12 millimeters, and compare it to 9 millimeters. So 12 ninths. That is ratio number one. And then we're going to compare this side to this one, uh, this side to this side. So 4 compared to 3. So 4 divided by 3. And then this one over here, 10 compared to 8. So we'll put 10 compared to 8. Now let's simplify all three of these. Okay, 12 ninths. I know I'm going to be able to simplify this one. Four thirds, I don't think I'm going to be able to simplify. Uh, 10 eighths, I should be able to simplify. So I know I can divide this by 3, so I'll divide by 3. And what will I get? 12 divided by 3 is 4, and 9 divided by 3 is 3, matches the 4 thirds. And then I'm going to divide this by 2, and this by 2, and I'm going to get 10 divided by 2 is 5 and 8 divided by 2 is 4. All right, so are these triangles similar? What we got when we took the ratio of 12 ninths and then 4 thirds and then 10 eighths, we simplify it down, we get 4 thirds, 4 thirds, and 5 fourths. All three of them have to match and be exactly the same if the things are similar. So these are different, they're not all the same. Are these similar? No, these are not similar triangles. So the answer is no. Now, I don't know about you, but when you, I look at this visually, when I just look at the two triangles, they look to me to be similar. Um, because they're all slanted, right? It looks like it would be similar, but this one is very, very close to, uh, to four thirds. Five fourths is pretty close to four thirds, but it's not quite the same. So it, even though it looks like it's similar by the drawing, I said you can't really trust yourself there. You have to trust the math. All right, let's take a look at our last problem. It's triangle one, triangle two, let's start comparing. 21 divided by 18, 21, 18. And then we have 14 divided by 12. 14 divided by 12, and then we have 28 divided by 24. 28, 24. All right, I think I'm gonna be able to simplify all three of these. So, 21 eighteenths, 14 twelfths, and then 28 24ths. All right, what am I gonna do here? Let's divide by, let's see, 21. We can divide by three for sure, so let's divide by three. And what do we get? 21 divided by 3 is 7. 18 divided by 3 is 6. Now the, this we can just divide by 2, uh, but then we think, can we divide by anything else? I think 2 is going to work. Let's go with 2 first. 14 divided by 2 is 7, and 12 divided by 2 is 6. And this guy, we can divide by, we can divide by 7. Let's divide by 7. What do we get? 28 divided by 7 is 7 times 4 is 28. 28 divided by 7 is 4. However, the problem is I accidentally divided by the wrong number. 24 is not really divisible by 7. So I kind of made a mistake here when I tried to simplify my fraction. I could, you know, cut this out of the lesson and just delete it. But sometimes I like you to see, you know, I make errors all the time. And I'm working a little fast, maybe not paying attention. The right thing to divide by here is going to be uh, 4. Divide by 4, divide by 4. Because 28 divided by 4 is 7, and 24 divided by 4 is 6. 6 times 4 is 24. So you can see we get uh, 21 eighteenths, and then we get 28 twenty-fourths, and then we get 14 twelfths. When we simplify them all, we get 7 6, and all three of them are equal. And so because of that, yes, these two triangles are similar. So again, this one looks like it's similar, and in fact it is. The previous problem, to me, also kind of looked like it was similar, but it, but it just wasn't the way it worked out. So don't look at the figures and try to figure out if, if the figures are similar. Don't do that. Instead, trust the math. Get the ratio of one side and its corresponding side, and then form a new ratio with a different side and its corresponding side, and then a third ratio, if you're dealing with triangles, with 
this same, the other side with the additional corresponding side. And all three of those ratios should be the same, which means they're all proportional. And proportional in terms of scale figures means that one of these things is exactly the same shape with all the same angles, just stretched out in a slightly different size. So that's what a similar figure is in geometry. I'd like you to practice all of these yourself. Follow me on to the next lesson. We're gonna do a similar kind of thing, but with shapes that go beyond triangles.